Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Christian with Ezra. Today we're going to be talking about what you should be thankful for. Now in life, there's so much thing that God and others do for us that we should be thankful for it and not take it for granted. In Chronicles chapter 4, verses 2, it says, Devote yourself to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. It's good to have a thankful heart because it shows appreciation for the things that others and God do for you. I have a list of you guys that just think that you should be thankful for. You should be thankful for God waking you up every single day, every single day that you have breath and you're long and you're healthy and just you're up, you're able to move. You should be thankful for that. You should be thankful for health and strength. If you're able to move, you don't got to worry about no back pain or that. You should be thankful for that. You should be thankful for food in your table and a roof over your head. A lot of us don't have food on our table every single day and roof on our head. So the people that do have it, you should be thankful for it. And the people that don't have it, continue to pray for God. God got you and he will help you out. You should be thankful for the people that God surrounds you with. The people that God surrounds you with are there to help you, to help you grow, motivate you. You should be thankful for those people. You should be thankful for your friends and family to just continue to be there for you, help you. They raise you up. They just continue to do what they do for you. So you should be thankful for that. You should be thankful for your parents, for all they done for you, the struggles that they went through, all they put into you. You should be thankful for them. Make sure you say, I love you for them if you haven't already. You should be thankful for God, just God being God, all you have done, all you continue to do, you should be thankful for it. You should be thankful for the church, a place where you can go to fellowship with other Christians and just enjoy yourself. I love the church atmosphere. I love it so much. You should be thankful for Jesus, for dying on the cross, for our sins, because through him, we're able to ask God for forgiveness. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for that. You should be thankful for God showing you mercy and not punishing you for the things you have done, but continue to be with you. Because we have ups and down. We do a lot of stuff. Like we're born into sin and shape and inequity, so we're going to sin. But God don't punish us for it. He forgives us and He continue to be with us, continue to help us. You should thank God for that. You should be thankful for the situations and struggles that God let happen in your life because they help you learn and make you stronger. One thing I learned in life is that God allows stuff to happen in your life because they're there for a purpose. They're there to either help you or make you stronger. And every situation that I've been through has helped me and make me stronger. And to elaborate more on that, in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, it says, Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belongs to Jesus Christ. Like the scripture said, God will allow these things to happen because they have a purpose behind it. It's going to help you grow and you're going to learn an important lesson from it. And the basic what I'm trying to say today, just be thankful for the things that God has provided in your life. Be thankful for the things that God do. Just be thankful all around. It's good to have uh, appreciation for others and what they do for you and what God do for you. I can end up this video, guys. I just have a scripture for you guys. And let the peace that comes from Christ rules your heart. For uh, as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Guys, just don't forget to be thankful for the things that you have in life because others may be in a bad situation and wish they was in your shoes. So always be thankful for the things that God allowed to happen to you because obviously there's a lesson and a purpose behind it. And if you're struggling, if you're in a terrible situation, just thank God because he was able to bring breath into your lung, help you to keep on going. And I just pray that you guys keep on going with you in any bad situation. I'm praying for you. This is it for the video, guys. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe if you haven't. Turn on your post notifications. Share this video with anybody that you think need it. And that's it. Peace. Yeah.